Hello and welcome to XCOM Enemy Unknown. This is a very tactical game that I've uh, recently picked up on Steam because it's on sale. And I played a little bit of it. I've had uh, like, uh, about an hour or so just to like scope out and see what it's about. So we're going to play it through. Uh, we're going to play normal. For an extreme challenge for experience, XCOM players only. For players who find joy in suffering, the tutorial will not be enabled for the impossible difficulty. Uh, we'll just take it with. Uh, we'll stick with normal. Okay, except. Okay, so basically the outline of this game is to save yourself from. save the world from aliens. Oh. Both are equally terrifying. Such a cool quote. Arthur C. Clarke. So I hope everyone is well. Um, I'll let you watch the intro. And uh, I will uh, see you when we uh, start. We'll talk again when we start. Oh my god, so terrifying. Hello, Commander. In light of the recent Epic American Voice, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. Oh, jeez. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. I am protecting the Earth. Good luck, Commander. Good luck, Commander. So I have seen some people play it before, and I played about an hour myself. I'm very excited. So we want to identify our base location. Monthly XCOM funding increased by 30%. Autopsies and inter interrogations are complete completed instantly. All products in the foundry and the officer training school cost 50% less. The laboratories and workshops cost 50% less to build and maintain. All aircraft and aircraft weapons cost 50% less to purchase, build, and maintain. Oh, I'm going to go for Europe. Not necessarily because of the uh, this thing, but mainly because I live in this little island here, and I live about here, right in the middle. Um, so we we'll go with that. Our target site is near the German border. We picked up a local broadcast. Oh, this is the uh, we're going the tutorial. So I have played through, like I said, about an hour. I know how to play this game. So we need to, we want to, like, go up gradually. Uh, although I might just jump up. So there's a ladder here, and I see it's some high ground. So I'm gonna dash to this location. If you dash, you can't use abilities. Okay, so we've got two aliens here. Alien life on Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. Okay. So, do you want to push up? We'll push up a little bit further with you. What's her name? Mona Eriksson. S Tariq Scott. Uh, where do you want to go with you? Up to here. Up to the box, I think. So, we've got half cover here. We've got full cover here. Uh, and we'll push you up to this sign here. Nice. Alien activity. 
Oh, what are they doing down there? Some kind of thing. So we want to jump on top of here if you can. So we're going to make you... Uh, we'll jump on just onto here because we want to stay in some reasonable amount of cover. Well, I could throw a grenade down actually. Oh, not, oh sorry, wrong person. Uh, still getting a bit, still getting used to the controls. Not a hundred percent, you know, s sorted with that yet. Uh, you can push up to here. Can I shoot? No, I don't want to shoot. And you can go just here. Oh, he sees me. So he was on Overwatch. Uh, and if you've got Overwatch, it means if another, if you see an enemy moving during your turn, then you can shoot at them. Oh, the car's going to explode. So we need to move away from that. And he's taking a pop at this guy, which is okay. We've got higher ground than him. So we're going to move him up to here. Hopefully they don't... Oh, nuts, that's bad. Uh, how good's our location? Pretty bad. I promise to you, I promise you, I am good at, uh, you know, tactical games. Uh, we'll should we move a closer a little bit? Um, we'll go for this guy. Oh no, that's got 75% chance. Look at him. Even though it... Ignore the shooting through a lorry. We're gonna have to do some. Okay. Well, we're gonna throw a grenade at him. Yeah, but we need to make sure everyone's okay. The bodies. Our German uh, as the car exploding. So this guy is going to get a pummeling, unfortunately. Hopefully we're lucky. Uh, and hopefully we are lucky. Blizz? Oh no. So we, we've lost someone. Oh no. That's bad. That is, that is quite bad. Uh, so we're going to... So there's one alien there and one alien around here somewhere. So perhaps behind this cover here will be good. <sighs> it does hurt when you lose a guy, especially when they've leveled up. Um, one, two. Uh, we'll go behind here. Yeah, like, if you level them up and then you lose them, that's really sucky. Because you've put a lot of time and effort into them. I don't understand how this is going to hit, but we'll go for a 45%. Nah. Sometimes it hits randomly, and I don't know why it hits. But it just looks like it, you know. This is increasing his health by one. That car's going to explode. Take a crack shot at either one. We'll go for this guy at the back. Seems like he's got a bit of line of sight. Ah, oh, cracking. Oh! I didn't know that happened. Okay. First mission down. Successfully captured some of them. Some of the stuff. Some of the alien stuff. Alien tech. So that's all good. Oh, hello. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Command. Oh, thank you. I'm Central Officer Brad. My role in this project is twofold. I'm going to turn it up a little bit for me. Support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion for Barry. Oh, yay. Get to it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. 
central officer guy. I love this layout. I think it's really cool. I love this game so far. It's really interesting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, so we got someone. I is that from Ireland? It is. Kills three. Nice. So we've got a shotgunner called Kathleen Gallagher, uh, who's like a run and gun kind of guy. Okay. Ooh, thank you. So, unfortunately, okay. So we have things to do. Ooh, let's have a listen to what she's got to say. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farnham. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development <laughs> takes place. I'm so tempted place. to do my German accent impression, by the way. We have already been analyzing the artifacts <laughs> recovered uh, from our first encounter with the aliens. One. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. Ooh. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Yes, please. Doctor. Uh, so, what research shall we do? Xenobiology, weapon fragments. Um, I want to understand what our aliens are looking, you know, anyone to do. So, we'll go for Xenobiology first. Alright, mate. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, you ah. can build it here. Cracking. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Oh, begin fabrication of what? What do you have for me? A medikit. I'll oh, make a few of these, make up to five. Oh, we don't want to create any more. Cracking. So, they want me to do mission control, that's fine. What have you got for me? To want to scan for aliens. Commander, we picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow bay. Uh, um, I'm gonna go for scientists, I think. Yeah, okay. So we've got a support, and then we want someone just to have a, a medikit on them. So we'll give the guy. Oh no, can't do that. So we'll give this guy a. Oh, for flip's sake. Okay. So we'll give this guy a medikit. Uh, do we want a little person to have. So Douglas? Go on, Douglas. We'll give you a medikit as well. Oh, he's Scottish! Yeah, he's definitely getting a medikit. Nice. Okay, so let's launch this mission. So, let's go kick some alien ass. This is what we've been prepared for. Strike one. Prepare for landing. Let's begin the assault. Brazilian authorities have requested our help, so that's where we're going next. Picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity in the right. metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Sure thing, boss. Well, technically I'm the boss. But you know, I'm controlling the troops even though I'm the, the boss guy. Oh. Right. Let's have a look at the area. So it's quite a wide area. Uh, so we want one guy to go up here, two guys to down here, maybe one guy in the middle. We'll keep the medic going down the middle. Okay, so we've already got two aliens here. Right, so they're getting into cover. Uh, so we'll get one guy running up here. They may find one going up there. Oh, uh, that we good. We look good. One guy going here. And we'll get you into cover here and go on overwatch. So if we see anyone move, they're going to get popped. 
I assume they're just going to fire. They're doing this telekinesis thing. So if we can kill this, kill this one, kill this one. He's on overwatch. Right. I wonder if we can get you into position. Hmm. Oh, he's just seen the top of my head. Luckily, he's missed. I wonder if we can take a pop at the guy at the back. Uh, we will do this. That sucks. It would have been nice to take these both out already. Um, we'll go for this guy. Both got four flops in the chest. We'll go this guy. I don't understand the whole physics with the... Okay, so we did two damage to him through some solid, you know, gravestones. And I'll go for the guy at the back. Nuts, man. Luckily, we get one more chance. 50% chance. And we got him. So we got both guys. Alien activity. So the move are sniper first. Well, not sniper, but guy who's on Overwatch over the general area. Uh, oh, the pipe there. So we want we want to go up the pipe at some point. Uh, I'll move you up to this one. Was he our medic? Oh, I've got two medics. Uh, you can go here. Ooh. This is the problem with it if you make too much of an advance at once because like you get out of position, they can flank you and stuff, and you get a better position than they do. Although we are in an okay position. Uh they'll do. Jump over there. Okay. Also, when you've done the dashing thing, you can't do anything else. Okay, so we've got this other scenario where we want to kill the guy who's mind melded. That's good for me. But who's mind melded who, though? This guy's. Ish. Okay. Can't get a clean shot currently. Thirty percent chance. Uh, okay, we'll have a pop. Oh, R and Jesus is with me. Uh, we'll move you up uh, onto here. And we'll just put you on Overwatch because we don't know what else has passed there. Just play it a bit safe, you know. And you can just be pushed up to here, perhaps. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's my Scottish guy. Oh, I'm gonna be so sad if he like we, you know, put a lot of time of effort into this Scottish guy and just he dies. I'll be very sad. Okay. Uh, you, what your name is, Thompson. I probably should put you over watch. I was just scouting the area. So, maybe somewhere over here. Uh, just put you here. I don't know where they are. They must be around here somewhere. Hmm. Where could you be? I don't know where this guy is. Okay. Right this way, so I'm just rotate the camera. Where on earth are they? Are they inside this building? Oh, 
Oh. I didn't mean to go through the door, actually. Oh, yeah. Convo, kind of. I'm gonna throw a grenade at them. Perhaps I shouldn't go, actually. Perhaps I should just... Uh, actually, if I... I don't want to take any casualties. Casualties do suck. I don't want to injure my guy here either. Gone. Eat a grenade. Mission accomplished. Crack in. Operation Lost Thunder is completed. So now that we chose to help one nation, then the other nations get unhappy because they feel more distressed. Um, and so then when you find another mission... Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar, but without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. Okay. So we got a sniper... The heavy weapons specialist provides a crucial service to the squad, but the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. Okay, so we've got a guy with a rocket launcher, a guy with a sniper, and a support guy. So we've now got all... Nice guys. Are uh, Ewan Douglas is injured? So we've got some fragments and stuff. Uh, research speed of 20%, adjacent bonus of 10%. Okay. We will be in touch, Commander. We will be in touch, Commander. Okay. Okay, so I have to now have to build an extra uplink. Uh, so we can do that going engineering by facilities. Right. That's fine. That's okay. I'm just going to start excavating around. So one, I'm going to put another satellite uplink, perhaps here actually. I oh, can't. Ten engineers. We need more engineers. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits okay. to work in the lab. So now we're gonna actually I'm gonna leave it there. And if we like it then I can keep going. I really enjoy this game, so I don't really don't care. Uh so I'll just keep going. Um thank you all for watching. This has been XCOM, Enemy Unknown. New ones coming out very soon. Um and I will see you next time.